And now we're going to hear from Portia Derry, representing the University of Delaware. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I am Portia Derry from Ghana, representing the University of Delaware. I am a storyteller passionate about African stories. However, today I shall not be talking about African stories. I shall be talking about an equally important topic called opportunity, the power of the internet. And I ask you, can you imagine a world without internet? Can you? Can you dare imagine a world without internet? And majority of you are Mandela Washington Fellows. How would you have applied for this fellowship? <laughs> but don't worry, let me illustrate for you. You would have written a long application letter like this, folded it neatly in an envelope, and for posting. But just imagine for a minute, the postmaster had a quarrel with his wife. And on his way to post your letters, he drops it like this. Scary, right? You might not be sitting here now. I was once a caterpillar struggling to break free. And do you know why? When I was 10 years old, something drastic happened to me. I lost my father. My father was the breadwinner of the family. And as much as I was going through emotional trauma, something critical was facing me. That was poverty, real poverty. Suddenly, my mother could not make ends meet because she was a housewife and I watch her daily struggle to save money just to keep me in school. But I did become a beautiful butterfly with a strong will to help others. And when my mother sent me to school, it was terrible. Every night I went to bed with fear and woke up with renewed fear. Fear of what will happen when I got out of school. Because I knew that with certainty I had no father or anybody to search for a job for me when I finished. And so every day, instead of focusing on my potential, my best friend became fear. Deep fear. A fear that allowed you not to do anything. In 2012, something happened. My uncle bought me a smartphone, my first smartphone. And then I fell in love with the internet. One day, as I was goggling and, you know, just enjoying myself, I came across a conference opportunity that was to be held in Accra. And mind you, that was the first time I was moving out to go to Accra, the capital city. And then I got there, and I saw African young leaders with amazing African stories to tell. They had so much stories about how they were helping their communities, building schools, helping voiceless women. And I felt so ashamed, and I felt anger. Whew. I was like, I had wasted all my four years in school complaining. Meanwhile, I knew I had potential. Right there and at that moment, I told myself, no. I, too, must have African stories to tell people. I, too, must be unique. And I promised myself that in the next two years' time, when I goggle my name, Portia Derry, I should find amazing stories about what I was doing for my community. And guess what? Right there and then, I founded my organization, the African Youth Writers Organization, which is giving children a platform to explore their potential. So that unlike me, they don't have to wait when they're 23, 24 to explore their potential. And now today, through the same internet, I use it to help people to make sure that all children have an inclusive environment. But this presentation is not just about me. It's about other stories like Vieta from Nigeria, who due to the careless, who due to the careless mystique of a doctor, guess what, lost her voice. But through the, imp in the internet gave her the power to empower people. And it's about Agnes sitting right in front of me, who despite having a hearing disability, is using the internet to help the voiceless. And another good example is from Bindu, who is an operational director of Girls Develop It, whom they are using the internet to help women to code. 
But you ask, why is the internet so important? And I'll tell you why. The internet does not discriminate. The internet doesn't care whether you are poor or rich. It gives you the same amount of information. The internet doesn't take bribe. If the internet did, you wouldn't be sitting here. <laughs> Above all, the internet levels the playing ground. The internet doesn't care whether you're the president of America or you are a hunter in the Sahara forest. I want to end here by telling you, how do you use the internet? Remember, you have power in your hand to change the world. Thank you.